Hello, everyone, and welcome to our next DDW session called Build an Enterprise Data Solution Quickly with Merkel's Data Accelerator, which will be presented today by Srini Krishnamurthy, Senior Vice President Data Management at Merkel. All audience members are muted during these sessions, so please submit your questions in the Q&A window on the right side of the screen. And Srini will respond to as many questions as possible at the end of the talk. Please note that there is a linked form at the bottom of the page titled EDW Conference Sessions Survey. This is where you can submit session feedback, and we encourage you to do so. Also, there's a small icon to the lower right of the screen, which will enlarge this window with the speaker and slides. So with that housekeeping out of the way, let's begin our presentation now. Thank you, and welcome, Srini. Thank you, Eric. Um, so thank you, everyone, for joining the session. Um, uh, as I introduced, my name is Srini Krishnamurti, Senior Vice President at Mar Mar Marketing Technology uh, at Merkle. My team and I are responsible for building uh, cloud solutions uh, for clients. And I'm here to share our point of view uh, of using Merkle's data accelerator to build enterprise uh, data solutions. Uh, what I wanted to do uh, today is to um, talk a little bit about, you know, what's happening in the cloud space um, very quickly um, and talk about some of the requirements and challenges our clients face uh, as they contemplate uh, their cloud migration or cloud adoption. Uh, we'll also touch upon what it uh, takes to be a modern data platform. Um, and then we will go into details around how we can leverage um, Merkle's accelerators to develop these cloud solutions to deliver faster business outcomes. Um, now, going to the uh, cloud adoption, um, you know, it really started um, uh, slowly, but has accelerated um, tremendously in the recent years. Um, year over year, it is expected to grow uh, at 18% um, in 2021. Um, you know, specifically the application services um, are also called as SaaS and infrastructure services are experiencing much higher growth. Um, earlier, we started to see, um, you know, client stakeholders tipping their toes to do POCs and, um, you know, few groups starting to experiment with the cloud. Now we are seeing wide adoption um, where enterprise marketing and IT solutions are all rapidly moving to the cloud. Um, so, you know, a lot of this should, shouldn't be any surprise to you, but if you are not uh, thinking about cloud, uh, chances are someone um, in your um, organization is, is uh, thinking about it or um, actively working to, to migrate to the cloud. Um, now, going to the cloud, um, you know, there is uh, several factors that uh, one should consider um, uh, as you contemplate that implementation plan. Uh, the right approach is um, is one that actually leverages the uh, tremendous cloud-based capabilities um, that would set you up for um, short-term and long-term success. Um, you know, often you know we hear clients say, "Hey, can I just lift and shift my solution from A to B?" Um, and you know that that probably uh, would work for uh, some of the clients but many times it's not the right approach. So you really need to uh, understand uh, how do you set your solutions to, to truly get all the benefits from moving to the cloud. Um, you know, talking about um, creating the modern data solution in the cloud, you know, what, what does that mean? Um, so we have uh, really looked at that as, you know, six key um, you know, factors that would, would, should really be like considered as you contemplate um, any cloud solutions. Number one, um, you know, leveraging cloud-based native technologies. There are a lot of um, technologies that could uh, work great in your data center, uh, but as you migrate to the cloud, 
um, you know, leveraging the cloud platform's native capabilities um, becomes important um, because that allows you to tap into uh, the features where uh, you could scale much more efficiently. Um, so that's that's a key factor. Uh, and the second one is this bill for now concept. You know, earlier clients would uh, have to um, invest uh, upfront uh, in a significant way to procure and set up hardware software and um, build up functionalities, not just to support the current use cases, but also uh, you know, anticipate use cases for the future. Like in a way, they are they were future proofing their solution for two years, three years, and sometimes five years. Uh, that takes a lot of time and effort and cost uh, to get that going. Uh, you could spend months, sometimes years, to to get that initial implementation done. And you know the uh, the the drawback for that is on day one after you launch a solution like that. Um, it may not be able to produce value um, until like much later on to realize the in the total investment spend. With cloud, because of the way you could scale, you really don't have to do that. Um, so if you create the right uh, baseline and adopt the right tech stack, you can go and just build for what is required for now just focus on those critical business use cases. Um, and then as you mature and you have a need to implement more use cases, you can then scale that, you know, that's number three. Um, so the, the getting the right tools and, and focusing on the right approach with the use cases uh, for now, and then scale for the future is the way to go. Uh, number four, um, you know, is rapid adaption. Um, you know, if you look at how, uh, you know, one, two, and three uh, layers on, you're not really creating a huge solution of friends. So the amount of technical debt that you're creating, um, it gets minimized. And you're only focusing on what is required to get your priority use cases or use cases that you want to enable done. Um, so that allows for, you know, quicker changes and quicker adoption. And number five is, you know, empowering business users. Earlier, you know, because of the complexity of the solution and it's built to so many use cases, you know, spanning many years, uh, there's probably a layer uh, of abstraction over the solution you may have built. And the business users may not have direct access or may have access through the data through another team. With the cloud, there is a lot of uh, capabilities that allow for the business users to get direct access to the data. Um, you know, you, there are data uh, visualization tools, there are BI tools, uh, there are also analytic tools that um, enable business users to you know, look at data, consume it in you know different formats, and and really empowers their current use cases and whatever planning they may have for future use cases. And number six, which is pretty important, is you know connecting all the data. Um, having the right approach, um, you know, allows you to seamlessly get all of your data. It could be at the enterprise level could be at the customer level or a transactional data set, um, site behavior data set, you are able to bring all that data together and have it in a way where it is seamlessly accessible with a robust governance layer on top um, to enable a lot of your use cases. Um, you know, this can be achieved without duplication of data as well. Um, so, you know, the cloud really enables a lot of these uh, really rich features to to be brought into effect as you contemplate, um, you know, building your own solution in the cloud. Um, now, you know, as we speak about um, the modern data solution, uh, what Markle has done is, uh, you know, we have been a pioneer in the space, and we have um, worked with many clients to 
take their solutions to the cloud. We have also moved our own solutions to the cloud. And we have captured a lot of the common um, you know, use cases and we have created accelerators to help our clients to uh, you know, adopt the cloud and, and really uh, get the value from, from those moves in a quick way while mitigating some of the pitfalls and the risk associated with, with, with moves. Um, you know, we are uh, custom built accelerators that I'll cover um, in a short while that really focuses on, um, you know, data ingestion, data transformation, uh, and also there are accelerators that focuses on integration to marketing technology platforms. Uh, that these accelerators really um, enables us to deliver these uh, solutions really quickly, you know, in a matter of uh, weeks. Um, and we are able to enable that, you know, business value realization cycle in a much faster timeline. Okay. Um, now, this slide, um, you know, it provides a, a little bit more detailed view. Uh, into how um, the accelerators can um, help uh, with your own um, cloud um, implementations. Um, as I mentioned to you um, before, uh, you know, our accelerators are you know, purpose-built um, and they are focused on specific uh, capabilities. Um, we have accelerators that um, are like primed for data ingestion. Um, you know, I'll go into a little bit more detail on, you know, how that ingestion would work, but, you know, the, those accelerators, getting data into one place becomes a breeze. Uh, we have accelerators that can take the ingested data and transform that into like a common data layer that uh, multiple use cases can be enabled. Uh, we also have accelerators that focus on integrating to leading technology platforms like Adobe and Salesforce. Uh, we also have accelerators that uh, could, could take the data and uh, basically drive identity resolution on, um, on that data. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, say, uh, we got to get all the data into one place, but it becomes very difficult to that data together and identity resolution um, plays a big role, uh, especially when you're driving um, use cases to understand your customers better. Um, you want to enable that uh, you know superior customer experience. It it becomes much more important to get your customer data, your um, transaction data, your site behavior data, uh, or, or other prospect data that that you may have, and um, rationalize them to a common identity. And we have accelerators that drive that as well. Um, you know, basically taking all these accelerators together, uh, you could um, build your enterprise data platform in a rapid fashion. Um, you know, these accelerators are, um, are developed in a way where you could plug and play um, based on what your uh, demand or use cases may, may dictate. Um, you know, we have um, the um, uh, core architecture principles that, um, that drive these accelerators in a way that you could scale on demand um, and you are starting with a lower cost of entry and you are able to enable that um, access uh, to the data to your um, analytics and business users that would help with um, your adoption of the solution you're building. Um, you know, want to spend some time on talking about like what are we, uh, what do we typically hear from um, from the market? You know, a lot of this should should resonate with you. Um, you know, we see clients say uh, our data is not clean. You know, we need help uh, cleansing the data. Uh, we have clients say. Uh, we have data uh, about our customers um, and their transactions, 
but it's not in one place where we can go get access to the data. Or the data is in a, a much more granular form, we need that aggregated. Um, or vice versa. Um, we also see customers say, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's it, the data has to be brought together, but we need to uh, make sure that is done in a secure, uh, you know, privacy compliant way. Uh, you know, with CCPA and GDPR type um, um, compliance regulations uh, rising, it's important that any solution you create uh, can scale, but is also secure um, and and in full compliance with all the uh, the laws. Um, and then this this is common, right? Where um, many of our clients say, "Listen, I I, I hear that, but I I just want to start small. Um, I want to test, and I want to learn, and then I want to expand." And many times they are looking to uh, prove value, and 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 that should you know help them drive a business case to exp uh, to expand further. Um, you know, all these are uh, typical. Um, um, you know, feedbacks are, are in, um, you know, uh, interactions that we have with our clients. And, you know, Merkle's data accelerator is, is created to, to specifically address a lot of these requirements or challenges from our clients. Um, in this slide, oh, I wanted to cover, like, what actually happens when you um, implement the data accelerator. Uh, we have four simple steps um, specifically to, to the data accelerator. We have ingest, we have identify, we have load, and we have enable. In the ingest um, step, uh, we just take all the data uh, from our clients to um, for, for uh, storage where we are able to prioritize, validate, and essentially stage the data um, you know, for for the cloud, uh, in the identify space is where we are taking the data, we are cleansing it, we are standardizing it, we are matching the data with one another, and we are now stitching identities to create that identity graph to to bring your customers, prospects, and also us together. That's key to uh, you know to to get the customer 360 view or other, uh, you know, use cases that clients would look to solve for. Um, you know, during that phase, uh, we are, um, you know, basically uh, applying a lot of the customer data identification processes. Uh, we could apply if the, if the clients wanted uh, the NCOA process, and essentially it creates a persistent ID for our clients to to um, look at any data that they have just ingested. And then in the load phase, um, we are now extracting the staged data, the cleansed data, and then we are transforming them for um, you know, consumption, um, for putting them in like destination tables um, through automated pipelines. Uh, we, we are uh, reporting the progress through dashboards and we are also able to um, provide that uh, secure, compliant uh, environment as well. Uh, lastly, in the enable stages where uh, the client is now able to get access to the data that we just ingested, plant, identified, and loaded. Um, you know, that enable phase is where you are also able to um, plug in your visualization tools, um, drive data science, uh, drive uh, AI, ML type use cases, so you are able to see that value realized. Um, now, th in this um, um, slide, I want to um, talk about, um, you know, in a visual way, how the data accelerator is, uh, is being brought into um, life. The underlying um, layer for the accelerator is, is the data. Uh, that is the core asset. It could be uh, digital data, it could be the CRM data, it could be third-party data, or many times the clients uh, uh, procuring data from Merkle. Um, or, you know, it could be Haddock data. You know, someone's, you know, maintaining some metadata on a spreadsheet and they want to bring that in and they want to integrate it. 
uh, we are able to take all types of data and we are then able to uh, basically uh, plug in the accelerator on top and go through those four phases I just talked to you guys about the ingest, identify, load, and you know, enable. Ultimately, all the data is landing in a data lake. Uh, we are um, able to then um, provide an analytic environment. It could be uh, any of the leading cloud providers, right? We have listed some um, key, key names here. Uh, it could be on um, AWS, Azure, uh, or GCP, it could be Snowflake, BigQuery, Redshift, uh, what have you. Um, you know, it, our accelerator can work with any of these uh, environments. So your your data assets that are integrated is now available for analytics. And that is enabled by, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Srini, just a quick uh, note. We are about four minutes away from our Q&A. So uh, audience, if you have questions for Srini, please do drop those in the Q&A now. Great, thank you. Um, so we, we are, just to close this out, we are able to then um, you know, integrate that uh, analytic environment with data visualization tools like Tableau, uh, CDPs like Lytx, TDM, Action IQ, um, you could uh, enable R and uh, or Python for advanced analytics. Um, you could integrate with um, Merkle's publisher platform, or you could go and integrate with marketing platforms like Adobe or Salesforce. Um, you know, here I want to share uh, some examples where uh, you know some of our clients have used the um, accelerator to drive their projects. Um, we have examples where a large auto manufacturer was able to use the accelerator to build their foundational data management environment, um, and they, they, you know, their um, use case was to drive analytics, and they were able to do it pretty quickly. Uh, we have another example where a large beverage company uh, wanted to create an analytics environment to ingest more than 50 data sources and um, their use case was to understand their customer's um, journey uh, and event stream um, to drive um, you know, modeling and segmentation, and, and they were able to do it. Um, and then there are uh, you know, other examples here um, where a large electronics company was able to bring their CRM digital site data, um, again, for advanced analytics to drive modeling and segmentation. Um, and we have an example with nonprofit um, as well. This is just to illustrate that you know companies big and small across multiple verticals are able to uh, essentially leverage the Merkle's data accelerator uh, to enable their crowd uh, migration or adoption uh, to to drive value pretty quickly. Um, you know, this is uh, the last slide I have um, to to uh, show you know, how quickly you could uh, get started in the cloud. Um, there are three simple steps. You know, it starts off with the proposal and kickoff where um, you know, we would scope and um, you know, engage in a contract. Um, and then you know, the process starts. We have pre-configured um, series of processes to create the cloud environment. You know, it could be in Azure or GCP or AWS, uh, whatever the cloud. Um, uh, you know, platform that the client may need or uh, want to be in. And we would then start ingesting the data and, uh, you know, get the configuration and development then we'll validate the, um, the, the processes and the data. And then we deploy it um, in, inside the analytic environment in, in a matter of weeks. And, and then we also offer um, ongoing support to continue to monitor the solution. You know, this is where you know, the initial onboarding should be thought of as built for now. You're just getting it set up. You're enabling those one or two use cases. You're seeing the value realized. And then we, we jump into the ongoing support mode where you are now adding more use cases, adding more data sources, adding more integrations as you mature and uh, see more use cases come to life. Um, so in a nutshell, um, you know, using the data accelerator, um, it allows you to um, really leverage uh, clouds 
um, capabilities to get started quickly and scale as you go um, while mitigating a lot of the risk associated with you know, privacy, compliance, um, security, and integrations. All that is um, addressed with uh, using the SLA uh, design pattern. Um, with that, I, I will hand it over to um, Eric for any questions. And thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, listen uh, to my session. Thank you. Hey, Srini. So uh, we don't have any questions uh, from the audience yet, but I, I had one. So when you're just starting uh, a deployment with a client, what is the most common concern or question you hear from them? So the most common concern uh, we would uh, hear is, uh, you know, we wanted to really have a flexible uh, environment that can ingest any type of data into this uh, because this is really a test and learn environment uh, for their analytics. Uh, so they want to have that flexibility um, and that uh, security. Um, so, you know, we are able to explain how, um, you know, we have uh, multiple layers of security that we have created around um, a, a client install inside the cloud. And then we are able to demonstrate uh, the flexible nature in which they could ingest data in any format, um, API, batch, um, streaming, what have you. And, um, and, and, you know, that allows them to then take those uh, capabilities and then start enabling their use cases. But it's really on flexibility and security as they contemplate their first move. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that they would need to have in place and be sure uh, they're ready for on their end before they were to engage with you? Um, it, yeah, so, so typically, um, you know, the, the clients would have, uh, you know, use cases that they are looking to to prove out or enable, um, and um, you know, really the data that's required to support that. Right, the, those are the two things that a client would need. Um, the rest of the, you know, setup and um, get the project configuration setup and all that, you know, can be done by Oracle. It's really the use cases and the data to support it is all they need. Sure. Okay. Well, we are just about out of time, so we'll go ahead and wrap up. Thank you, Srini, for this great presentation. Thanks to our attendees for tuning in. Uh, please do complete your conference session survey on the page for this session. Between sessions, you're welcome to continue networking with other attendees within the Spot Me app. Don't forget to check out the sponsors section for information about the tools available to support your data management programs. Um, the next sessions will start in about 10 minutes. And so with that, I will thank you all. Thank you so much, Srini. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>